One of the biggest challenges in starting your pediatric clerkship is going to be the simple things, such as growth and feeding for infants. Having not been an infant for a while, you may not remember what the average feeding is. So first thing is always remember to pay attention to the growth charts, which we'll go about in a different tutorial. Today we're going to talk about feeding, and we're going to memorize some of the, fig the key figures for feeding, and we're also going to practice some of the math involved with calculating the numbers involved with feeding. Okay, great, so let's start. So here are the key numbers you need to memorize or write down for infant feeding. Number one, breast milk is equivalent to 20 K calories per ounce. Number two, many formulas are also 20 kilocalories per ounce. However, this can be changed based on different formulas. And oftentimes, the nutritionist can help you with that. Number three, always remember that one ounce is 30 cc's. And the last number to memorize is that your average baby is going to need 100 k calories per kg per day. This is very variable, and you need to take into account your individual patient's metabolism and caloric needs. But that is a good place to start. OK, so let's practice with some of these numbers. So let's say your patient weighs 3 kgs. In the morning, you look at the, the ins and outs over the last 24 hours, and you see that your patient took in 360 cc's of breast milk. Now, on rounds, your attending is going to want to hear this in kilocalories per kg per day. So how are you going to calculate this? So a caveat is there's a lot of ways to, ca to calculate this. This is algebra. But the important thing is to get a way that you do it, that you can do it consistently. So the way that I would do it is I would take the 360 cc's, and I'll multiply this times 20 k calories over 30 cc's. And you'll notice that I, I skipped a step by just putting in 30 cc's instead of one ounce. So as we talked about before, they're equivalent. So by doing this multiplication, I can cancel out the cc's. And then by multiplying 360 times 20, dividing by 30, I get 240 k calories. And I want to divide this by the patient's weight of 3 kgs. And that way, I can get to. 80 k calories per kg per day. OK, great. So that's how we'll report it. Now the next step is to flip the math. The nutritionist has recommended that we increase the caloric intake. So the caloric goals for the next couple days to make up will be 120 kcals per kg per day. And with the help of nutrition, we're going to use a 26 kcal per ounce formula. So what we need to know is as we're monitoring the I's and O's, how many cc's per day should the patient be taking in? So again, there are a lot of ways to calculate this. The way I like to do it is I'll take the 26 kcals over 30 cc's. That's what we're going to be feeding the baby. And I know that my goal is going to be 120 kcals. And so I'm going to put that over x. So I'll solve for x. 
and that's going to let me know that that's going to be 140 cc's per kg per day. And then I'm taking into account the actual weight of the patient, 3 kgs. I'm going to know that the goal total cc's per day is going to be 420 cc's. So great, so those are things I'm going to memorize how to do for the wards. So let's go over some of the important facts. So we want to always pay attention to growth charts in pediatrics. We want to remember that the breast milk is 20 kcals per ounce and that an ounce is 30 cc's and our average baby is going to take in 100 kcals per kg per day and that's going to be variable. Thank you for watching and we hope this was very helpful for you.